Who is this girl? I thought she fell off. I thought she retired. I thought she was done with YouTube. Me too. Natty B is gone, but your garden mother is back. Hi gardeners. If you don't know this already, I am a full-time gardener. And what I mean by that is I garden with this kind of flower. I figured for our first YouTube video together, we would make some garden brownies. So the first thing that we're gonna make is the can of butter. We're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. And to make can of butter, you just need a few simple ingredients. A half ounce of flour, eight ounces of butter, some cheesecloth, and one and a half cups of water. We can go ahead and break up the flour on a cookie sheet. Put your flour in there for about one hour, but you wanna check it every 10 minutes. Shush it around. But the reason you have to put your flour in the oven is to decarb it. That means that you're turning all of the inactive components of the flour active. Might as well make use of the time while we wait. Now our flour is nice and decarbed. It's a little bit more of a brown color than green. Okay, you're gonna wanna take eight ounces of butter and put it into a saucepan. Add one and a half cups of water. Churning the butter. You're gonna take your flour and put it into the melted butter. Mmm, yum, so deli- <laughs> So she's gonna look something like that. You want it on a very low heat and then you're gonna cover it for four hours, but you wanna check it every 30 minutes. So I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I absolutely did burn the first batch of butter. Make sure you have a thermometer and you're keeping the temperature low. It should look something a little bit more like this. Make sure that this is cooled down a little bit so you don't burn yourself. Here goes nothing. Ew. If you have gloves, I would highly recommend. But we're just gonna let this cool and see what happens. So it's been a few hours and this has cooled and hardened in the fridge. I'm gonna pull all the butter that has risen to the top and get rid of all the junk underneath. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's make brownies. So first start by preheating your oven to 325. Grease a baking dish. Take a medium sized bowl and you're gonna put all your dry ingredients in here. One and a half cups of granulated sugar, three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour, two thirds cup of cocoa powder, a half a cup of powdered sugar, half a cup of chocolate chip, dark or milk, a little bit of salt. We're gonna combine this all together. In a large bowl, you're gonna whisk together two eggs. One teaspoon of can of butter is one dose. It's about 10 milligrams. So I wanna do 16 teaspoons of butter, which is about a quarter of a cup of butter. And then the rest I'm gonna do with oil. Barely gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? A half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then two tablespoons of water. And whisk it all together now. It's pretty much all combined. Now I'm gonna start mixing in the dry ingredients. Mix it all up. Mix it real good. I definitely taste the weed butter. Ew. So now we've got our brownies in their baking dish and we're gonna put this in the oven for about 40 minutes and then check on them. Sleep tight. And there they are. I think all we have left to do is try one. So unfortunately, I couldn't cut them into 16 pieces, so I did 12. Really, the only way to find out if they actually work is by trying them. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Those smack. Let's see how these work. It has been about 30 minutes and nothing yet. So it's been about an hour. I'm definitely starting to feel the said brownies, but let's let it marinate a little bit more because this is just the beginning. This might be a wild ride. So I had to put my comfy clothes on. It's been about two hours and I'm absolutely feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I was out on a walk with my dog and I was like, oh, the clouds are looking interesting. I'm definitely feeling it. The can of butter works. I'm living proof. I feel like you can absolutely see it behind my eyes, but thank you for watching Garden Mother's Kitchen. Come back for more garden treats and garden goodies and all things gardening. Hi-ho, hi-ho, off to the garden we go.